Okay. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem wherein the given is the moment diagram, and then we are required to draw the corresponding load and shear diagram. So, as you can see, the given is the moment diagram. So, what we're going to do is we copy this one here. And then above this one, we're going to do the shear and the moment diagram. Okay, let us start. So let's draw the let's draw a horizontal line. Um, okay. <clears throat> now this one, we have the moment of 2.025. So from zero, upwards yeah, means positive ang area na sa shear diagram. Okay. Nag-increase mo ng moment. From zero to 2.025, nag-increase yeah. Therefore, ang area sa shear diagram, or ang, oh, ang area, sa shear, area sa shear diagram, above the horizontal line, positive yeah. And if mag second degree ang moment diagram, it means na ang shear diagram na straight line or triangular. So, pag ang curvature niya is downward, let's, yeah, let's have this one. The only possible na drawing sa shear diagram is this. This one or this one. Diba? So, ang pattern is, pag first degree ni, ang second degree yan ah, is pasulod. No? Pasulod. This one. But since positive man, so i-mirror na to, ang curvature niya is downward. Mufit siya. Ni. For this one, okay, upward. Yung inaanin mo siya. So, ang emotional diagram is, or ang moment ni mo is, Concave upward, oh, and wrong na kay downward man. So therefore, yung nani yung shear diagram. Now, if maximum ang moment, it means na zero ang shear. So most like lang shear diagram is yung nani. Okay. So which means na kung one point 1.125 Ang area ni is equal to 2.025 So we just need to solve this one Kini na shear so, If we denote na ito ni siya as y Then ang area ni ng diagram is equal to 2.025 So um, One half of 1.125 times 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 y equals 2.025 so makuha na to ang y so using your calculator the value of y is this uh, 2.025 times 2 divided by 1.125, 3.6. So, it's 3.6. So, ato i-erase. Okay. Okay. So, 3.6 ni. Or... Y equals 3.6. Now, for this one, for this distance, since 3, mani, 3 minus 1.125 is equal to 1.875. Okay. So, which means na, one, ang area ni, is equal to the drop, no? the decrease in moment, which is 
2.05, nag-decrease siya to 3.06. So, naatay drop na this one. Okay. Kaninga drop, money ang area. Dari. So, 2.0, 2.025 plus 3.6 na kay 5.625. This is 5.625. 5.625. So, kini siya nga drop. Area na dere. So, kung i-denote natin siya as Z. Okay? Then, um, okay, let's erase this one. Okay. So, ang Z na to is this one. Is equal to this one. Uh, the area, one half of 1.875 times Z equals uh, 5.625. So, ma-solve na to ang Z. So, using your calculator, the value of Z is 5.625 times 2 divided by 1.875. 6. Okay? Z is equal to 6. Pero negative sa kaya. Below the horizontal line, negative 6. Now, I-check na to by ratio and proportion. Okay. If if you will use tangent theta, uh, correct ta if 3.6 over 1.125 is equal to 6 over 1.875. So, if we get the tangent, the tangent value, 3.6 divided by 1.125, that's 3.2. Compare na to 6 divided by 1.875, 3.2 also. Meaning, same line lang. Same slope ba? So, correct na yun. Now, so, the last part, this one. From negative 3.6, and then nag-zero siya, nag-increase siya. So, Kini na increase from negative 3.6 to 0. Nag-increase sa og 3.6. Mausa ni ang area sa shoe diagram. And since positive siya, kaya nag-increase man, then ang atong area there is positive sad. So, okay. copying this one, pag mag second degree siya na concave downward, most likely, ang shared shared diagram na is this one. Triangle. Kini na triangle. This one. Kana para kung magmoment ah second degree. Okay. Second degree and then positive man. Um. Mirror and correct na So, another value. Kini na sa, let us say, W. Pila na sa din W. And since 1.5 ni, ang area ni is equal to 3.6. So, compute ito ang W. Um, one half of 6, ah, sorry. Let's erase. One half of 1.5 times W is equal to 3.6. And we can solve for W. That's 3.6 times 2 divided by 1.5, 4.8. So, 4.8 ang W. This is 4.8. Okay. So, after this, 
Pwede na tayo mag-draw o glow diagram. Okay. This is our glow diagram. Now, okay. going up siya, from zero, nag-increase siya to 3.6. So probably, reaction. So let's just assume na reaction. Na. So this is the support. And money ang reaction. 3.6. Now, from 3.6 to negative 6, pag straight line ang shear, it means na uniformly distributed um, load. Okay. So, from here, mag uniform load dadi ya. Uh, okay, so down. For a distance of three, three meters, ano you know? Three meters. So next is ang value ani W omega, no? Oh, ang area na sa ang area sa low diagram equal sa change in shear. Na ang change in shear from three point six nagdrop siya to negative six. It means na 9.6, bali 3.6 plus 6, 9.6 mo niyang area ni, 3.6. So, compute, computing for W, that's 3W or 3 omega equals 9.6. So, omega equals 3.2. So, 3.2 ni. And ang unit ani is, since SI mo ta, this is kilo newton per meter. Now, okay, so from the shoot diagram, it goes up from zero, it goes up to 3.6, and then it drops ya to negative 6. From negative 6, nag move sa upward vertically. So, probably reaction. Eh. So, since nanatay hin so roller ni. And ang reaction niya, uh, 6 and 4.8, uh, that's 10.8. Okay. 10.8 siya. And then this one, 4.8 nag straight line, it means na uniform load ang sa load diagram. So, how do we get the value of the uniform load? Same as this one. Ang area sa uniform load is equal to 4.8. Okay, 4.8 to 0. So, nag-drop siya o 4.8. And ang distance ni is 1.5 man. So, let's check. Let's assume na similar, same value of omega. Pero i-compute na to. Okay. 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 Assuming na dili equal omega prime sige. So, ang ang area ni is equal to 4.8. So, 1.5 omega prime is equal to 4.8. So, omega prime 4.8 divided by 1.5. 3.2 yapon. Same lang. 3.2. So therefore, ang um, uniform load uh, nag-start dire taman sa overhang. So, same value of omega. I-erase na to. Okay. So, this is our load diagram. So, kung i-check na to, there eh, here. Checking. Let's sum up moment about the left support. Okay. Left support. Zero. Counterclockwise positive. So, 
Uh, and we will solve for this one. Let us say R sa right. No? Reaction sa right times distance 3 minus uniform load. The resultant is um, this one. 4.5 4.5 times uniform load 3.2 resultant force and the distance yeah ang resultant ani is the Raymond oh and getting a distance which is one half of 4.5 2.25 so ah uh, natay 2.25 equal to 0 so solving for the reaction at the reaction at the right support then okay it's 4.5 times 3.2 times 2.25 divided by 3. 10.8. So, therefore, correct ang ato analysis. 10.8. This one, 10.8. So, kung i-check na to, if you sum up force vertical, the downward load is or the resultant of the resultant load is 3.2 times 4.5, which is 14.4. And if you add the reaction, 3.6 plus 10.8, 14.4 also. So, na-satisfy ang condition that the total vertical force must be equal to zero. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the solution. This is the shear diagram and this is the load diagram. So, I hope that you have learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.